Hi, I'm John Caulfield, uh, senior editor with uh, Builder Magazine, and uh, welcome to Builder TV. I'm here today with Steve Brooks, uh, the CEO of uh, Grant Homes in Dallas, and one of our three America's Best Builders winners for 2010. Welcome, Steve. Uh, Steve and I are going to talk a little bit about uh, why we, uh, we chose him for that uh, recognition. And I wanted to start off with uh, kind of talking to you at, at, about where your company was sort of at a low point. Uh, the, the end of 2008, uh, you know, business was, for, like as it was for everybody, pretty bad. Uh, and you were kind of choosing options that were sort of dire. Tell me a little bit about kind of what that tipping point was for your company and how, it's, uh, how it led to your kind of uh, reversal of fortune, if you will. Um, thank you, John. In 2008, as everyone recalls, we had the financial meltdown. And of course, it directly affected our business radically. Uh, it just seemed that in August of 2008, uh, everything stopped. And uh, the other time that I remember everything stopped was obviously 9-11. But between August and December of that year, we sold two houses. And we weren't structured to sell two houses. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is those two canceled. <laughs> so we were really left with the dilemma in December. We, had to, we made a business plan in September, which followed by a business plan in October, and as it got worse and worse and worse and worse, November we did a business plan, and when it got absolutely worse, we made one in December. And, you know, that was the good news. We, we've always run our business with knowing that this is cyclical, and we, we enjoyed a really good run, but that at some point the party would be over in the cakewalk, we'd have to find a seat to sit down on. Mm -hmm. So having been through four downturns, you know, you pretty well know your way through the, the valley of the shadow of death, if you will, <laughs> and uh, you go into uh, survival mode. And, and in that is, is you know, you got, you've got to control your overhead, you've got to cut cost. Unfortunately, the, the people equation is huge. Uh, that's half your, uh, your gross profits, your people right. equation. So unfortunately, we had some people that had been there a very long time. Um, and we had to make some severe cuts. But while that was all going on, we were also suffering uh, some very low customer satisfaction scores. So mm -hmm. uh, we needed a remake. And uh, the remake included just every single thing. We went to work. Uh, we didn't go into a pity party. We didn't go into paralysis. Uh, we manned the guns and, and the battleship uh, mm -hmm. moved on. And, and uh, it's kind of the way we're structured. Everybody in the organization has a functional role as well as an executive role. We don't have anybody in corner offices. Uh, I do operations and design. Uh, our second in command does customer service, customer satisfaction, warranty, and operations as well. And our sales manager does training. Mm -hmm. And then my wife does advertising and my son uh, does the uh, land acquisition. Mm -hmm. So literally everybody uh, what, didn't get a break. We had to get into action. The two sales we made canceled. So we had no sales for four months, and the good news is we, we had a little bit of backlog to carry us forward. Mm -hmm. So we had about 200 houses in backlog, which was really fortunate. But we're a seasonal market, and you have to get ready in January. You mentioned to me that one of the biggest changes that needed to be made was your own management style. And uh, maybe uh, t tell me a little bit about uh, you know, how this uh, kind of transformation in your company was manifested in your own style, personality, and so forth. Well, we saw that it doesn't do anybody any good to face the worst of times with the worst attitude. And most of the time that comes from the leadership. So until we realize that, that what you get out is what you give back because you know, this award and our company and everything else, it is not about me. Mm -hmm. it, it's really about what you give as a manager in terms of inspiration, motivation, perspiration. You gotta be the first one there. You gotta be working the hardest and you gotta be a leader. If you do that, then what you get back is respect and commitment and everybody else follows the leader. Mm. So, you know, we had a couple of, uh, we, you know, we had to make some changes in some of the management, but the one thing that, that really made the difference is, is when the going got tough, our guys, our senior managers, they got going. Mm. They didn't polish up their resumes. They didn't uh, look for another job. They didn't go into a pity party. They didn't bunker in their cubicle. Everybody stepped out and said, hey, what can I do to help? Mm -hmm. And, and that, that was a pretty amazing transformation at that tipping point. When we went and saw what an organization can do when someone says, hey, how can I help you, rather than that's not my job. That's 
Right. And, and, and that really was the difference. And, and it's made all the difference. And, and uh, we've had a great year. Uh, 2011, uh, you know, I, I think that it's going to be challenging. We don't have the tax credit. And I think everybody underestimated how, how, how important that was to our business last year. But I, I think next year is just going to be a street fight for every customer. And we're going to have the, we went and redid all of our product, all of our systems, all of our processes, uh, all of our training. And we've really broken through a few new uh, glass ceilings on the training. I was just talking to Tom Ritchie this afternoon, and we've come up with a, a couple of new pieces of the, of the puzzle that make it all so much better. You see, we have a, a sales system that's, that's different on everyone as well. We have weekend uh, sales managers to put two closers on every customer. Mm. But, you know, back when times were good, people weren't negotiating. We've been negotiating for about 20 years. <laughs> so we put two people on every deal, and, and we learned how to negotiate early on in the process. So we don't always make as much money as we want to, but, you know, uh, in our business, if, if they're looking at 17 of your competitors and they pick one house, you can't afford to come in second. Mm. So that's why we have to have a warrior spirit, discipline, uh, and then uh, the all-important effort. We have to make it from the top down, bottom up. Everybody has to make the maximum effort to uh, to be competitive. And uh, when the odds are stacked 17 to 1 against you, mm -hmm. you get got to come out number one. Well, Steve, thanks again. Uh, congratulations on your award, and I wish you good luck through the remainder of the year. I'm John Caulfield again, and uh, thanks again for joining us on Builder TV.